Okay, next we will talk about another kind of energy transfer, that is an energy transfer by work. Okay? Work is an energy transfer when a force is exerted on an object through a distance. Okay? That is a W equal to F times X. Okay? You should learn that in the elementary mechanics. Okay? So just a review here. Uh, for a closed system, there are only two ways of energy transfer, either by heat or by work. Okay? If the energy transfer is not driven by the temperature difference, then it must be work. Okay? As the driving force of heat transfer is a temperature difference. There's a temperature difference. Like other quantities, we will also express work in a unit mass basis. Well, that is W equal to W divided by M. So we have a small letter and a big letter here. The small letter is the per unit mass term, and the big letter is the original term. That is the original work done. For the power, that will be the work done per unit time. Okay. So uh, we will denote that by a W with a dot at the top of the symbol, that is uh, this one, W dot, W dot, that will be power, okay? Well, as both heat and work interactions have directions, it's more convenient to describe the direction by using sign conventions, just like what you have done to work with forces in elementary mechanics, okay? Well, remember, uh, if you are solving motion equations that you have derived by using Newton's second law, of motion, then you need to assume a direction. So for example, uh, you assume the right direction is the positive. Then all of the forces pointing to the right direction will be positive, And the forces pointing to the left direction will be negative. So similar here, a generally used formal sign convention is that if there is heat transfer to the system, okay, Q will be positive. Okay? And if there is work done by the system, W will be positive and vice versa. In short, we will have heat input to be positive and the work output to be positive. So let me write that down here. So that will be heat input. Heat input that will be positive and work output will be positive. Okay. Okay, we will have this kind of uh, general sign conventions. Uh, however, this approach is not very good in applications because one needs to be very careful in assigning the negative values to heat output as well as work output, okay? But that would be very tedious and also it involves extra efforts in solving those thermodynamic problems. So uh, it's recommended to use the intuitive approach, okay? That means we add subscripts in and out to the terms to denote the directions, okay? And uh, once you have add the in and out, okay, then you have assumed a direction. For example, Q in in this case means we have assumed that this term is referring to heat input and W in means work input, etc. Okay, well, if the assumption is correct, then a positive term will be returned. But if the assumption is not correct, then we will have a negative value. Then uh, it means that the correct direction should be the reverse one. Okay, that means if you assume that energy transfer by heat is input, but you have a negative value obtained, then it means that that quantity of heat input should be heat output instead of heat input. Okay, so that would be the intuitive approach. I find that this kind of approach is more acceptable. Okay, because it matches with what we perceive with our intuition. Okay. And also, although both heat and work are energy transfer, but uh, they have differences, okay? We will talk about that in uh, more detail in chapter 6, okay? Here, because we are just concerned about the quantity, so there should not be any much difference. So here, we will talk about some similarities first. First one, both are what we call the boundary phenomena. That means that it cannot be seen if this kind of energy transfer is not crossing the boundary, okay? We can only see this when this kind of energy transfer crosses the boundary, okay? Both cannot be possessed by the system as their energy transfer, okay? I need to emphasize this one more time because energy and energy transfer are different. Energy is the energy stored in the system, but energy transfer cannot be possessed by the system, okay? And number three, both are not properties because they are mechanisms of energy transfer between the system as well as the surroundings, okay? And the last one, both of them depends on the actual process path, 
not just the end state. Okay, and we sometimes we will call heat and work path functions. Okay, in order to give a definition of path functions, it's better for us to look at this table. This table below shows a clear comparison between path and a points function. Okay, we have mentioned that properties are points functions. Okay, are points functions by the continuum assumption in our chapter one. Okay, so uh, we will have a comparison here. Okay, here uh, for path functions and point functions, uh, we will call that a path function will be the inexact differentials, and for the point function that will be a exact differentials. Why inexact and exact? Because for path function, the function not only depend on the end state, okay, it also depend on the actual path, okay. But for point function, it depend on the end state only, okay. So uh, for path function, suppose the two end states are identical, that means they are not moving. For example, uh, just uh, I just uh, draw some picture here. For example, here uh, one and two. Suppose you perturb this path. Uh, from process A to process B, then actually the integral of this path function would be different. But for point function, it will be the same. Okay. So the symbol for path function, we will use a delta, this kind of delta, to denote path function for the differential of the path functions. But for point function, we will use the ordinary d to denote this. Okay. So characteristics for path function. It will depend on the actual process path as well as the end state. We will sometimes call this path dependent. And for point function, it will depend only on the end state, and we will call this a path independent. Okay. So here are some example heat and work. So it is a corresponding differential values because they are in exact differential. So we will have delta Q and delta V. Okay. And then we. Uh, for point function, uh, for example, uh, volume, we will use uh, ordinary d, dv to denote the volume, and dm to denote the mass content. And here is both phase, so it means volume. Okay. So uh, here, okay, although it's a bit small, but uh, it is about integrate from one to two delta w should be w one two, but not delta w. Okay, because it's not what we call the exact differential. Okay, it depends on the path uh, connecting point one and point two. Okay, and for dv, we would have an integral. It will be equal to delta v because we can write that to be v two minus v one. Okay, so that will be a very good table for the comparison between these two kinds of functions. Okay, so you need to bear in mind about that because it will have significant difference when we are talking about different kinds of properties. Process by the path functions as well as the points functions. There are different forms of work, including uh, electric work, mechanical work, etc. The mechanical forms of work will be left to the next section. Okay, here we will introduce electrical work. So for electric work, let us your example. Suppose you have a light bulb connected to dry cells by wires. So that should be some very familiar thing you see in your high school. Well, that will be a very simple circuit. You have dry cell here, and we have a light bulb here. Okay, so the dry cell uh, here provide electromotive force, so that there will be an electric field established, and the electron inside the wires will be accelerated by this uh, electric field and flow inside this wire, so that it flow through this light bulb, and this light bulb will light up. Okay, here force is exerted on the electrons, and the electrons move for a certain distance. So there will be work done on electrons. This is called electric work or electrical work. Okay, this is a term used generally to all kinds of charge carriers. Okay, I just use electron to be the example, but it can be generalized to all kinds of charge carriers, including the positive one. Electrical work is usually expressed in rate form. That means in terms of electrical power. Okay, it is given by W E dot equal to V times I. So here I need to have some clarification. V is the voltage in this case, okay? But usually it will only appear very scarcely in this course, okay? It's not common in this course, okay? So uh, here the both phase selector, okay? Although I have said that this both phase selector is used to describe volume, 
but the context will make it clear that this one is representing voltage. Okay, so you need to ensure that all of the symbols you use are clear so that we know the context of uh, what you're talking about. Okay, so uh, we have a subscript Y e here, okay, uh, to denote that is an electrical power. Okay, so this WE dot will be equal to VI, VI, the voltage multiplied by the current. Generally, if the voltage and current are changing, then the total work done will be given by this integral, okay, during uh, delta T, that is a WE equal to uh, integrate from 1 to 2 VI dt, okay. We just use integration to find out the change of a value inside this interval. But if both V and I are constant, we can move these two terms out of this integral sign, and we just integrate 1 to dt and uh, we'll have we equal to vi delta t in this case, okay? And sometimes if it is uh, connected to a resistor, then we will also use the Ohm's law, v equal to i r, okay? v equal to i r, so that we can either write it to be i square r or v square divided by r, okay? It depends on what kind of values are given to you to find out the electrical power, okay? Before we go to the next section, I would like to give you an example so that you can distinguish uh, energy transfer by heat and work, okay? As I've mentioned, heat is the energy transfer driven by temperature difference while work is not. But in real practice, can you distinguish this, okay? So the next example will illustrate this, okay?